Welcome to this episode of Random Scientist. Today we are going to cut open a AA battery. Here is a quick overview of what does it consist of and the tools used. I am playing this video at a faster speed actually. This is a so I am trying to use a hacksaw blade uh, to cut open this battery. Oh what? This is not at all opening. I tried several times. So it is not like the outer casing which is thin which is not coming out. So tried from the top positive of that one negative everything still it doesn't come out. Wow. I have cut open 5 or 6 batteries I guess. So still but this is like so then I gently pry open on the sides and then I try it slowly. So still no luck. I am going to get a spanner. Without that it is not possible. Yes with a spanner I am just gently pry open at the top and do that faster gentle praying using a hacksaw blade tip and then if you could see this is a fast video and it took around 5 or 10 minutes of for me uh, more than that to get to this stage actually 5 to 10 minutes so still doesn't come out the outer layer should have to come out It's always amazing to look at everyday stuffs from the inside and see what they are made of. So this is simple like it has a tin casing and then that is very hard this time. Actually normally I have opened the other batteries or like used batteries. This still has some power left. So this has some plastic wrapping around that inside that tin casing. So this I am going to try to scrape it off actually. So then the positive terminal will come free along with the plastic wrap. You can see the plastic wraps falling around. So then this is a zinc casing. This zinc casing is pretty much used for and uh, I am putting out the plastic out and there is a carbon rod which is there inside which is glued by a small adhesive and that is somewhat sticky. If you do it correct, it will, oh this never works out. I have done 4 or 5 times and whenever I record a video this one, this never comes out. Oh, it's broken. The carbon filament is broken. Wait, I will just show you another battery which I have pulled out the carbon rod from. So, see here, this is the other battery which I have pulled out. The carbon rod comes free. So, there is like magnesium dioxide inside that one. So, this is what is inside a AA battery an outer casing made of tin, a zinc casing which acts as a negative electrode and an MnO2 electrolyte, a carbon rod as a positive electrode, a positive and a negative plate and a cap. That's it.